on the tryouts, I dropped 30, you do then drop 30 also. Much but he dipped me on the last two days. I did apply for uh, open tryouts and then I back out. Okay, how are you prepping the players for stage? We do have a bunch of players that aren't used to stage. And the only person that was close to Patrick out of every role just be Meteor, Tex, Leaf. This is how our day goes. Scrim. Four scrims in a row. We could probably beat all of them but this one. Rushi, GE are, are an amazing org and they just have a lot of money. To You can go down, just because we need to. Oh, maybe you, you do that. I think you do that on the way list. Good job, guys. I like on the trials, I drop 30, you do that, drop 30 also, you know. They're usually distracted once I resume them. Here. Other than you do that, I don't think. Anyone. I'm out of here. Besides you, though. You did me uh, not that much, but he dipped me on the last two days. Uh, I played but because I lost my mouse but on her for Peter. Go, go, go. But you just good guys. He so good. You wanna go? I can uh, see you probably. You do dip me on agents like uh like raise agent, agent maps, uh, raise maps. But he didn't Bot's use Neon on... on Bot's high, I think, Sephora On Trials So maybe... It... I did apply for uh, open tryouts And then I back out And Crash then the uh, coach, Juvenile, message me after I back out That is inviting me to trial I got things to do Do except Neon I play all duelists except... Uh, except Yoru Yes. Okay, how are you prepping the players for stage? Okay, so I'll actually talk about this. Fear, stress, nervousness. First off, play scrims when you play matches. That's the first fucking thing. Second thing, I'm making GE for, for our players. We are buying lights. I'm going to bring this big old boom speaker. Um, I'm making them use the in-ears that they're going to use on stage. And so especially during this show match coming up, I'm going to be replicating essentially the stage. So we're going to turn the lights off in here. I'm going to get some annoying flashing lights just... <laughs> I'm gonna be playing something besides my hood music. I'll be playing some music um, or some kind of sound out of this big ass speaker, just blasting sound into the ears so they can get used to replicating what it's gonna look like on stage. And again, this is all with uh, in ears. But yeah, so that's the plan to, to get us to get a little bit more used to stage because we do have a bunch of players that aren't used to stage and it's something that, that I don't want to have to deal with, you know? It's, for me, it's not an excuse. We have all the tools we need to be able to replicate that. We're all in a fucking boot camp. So I'm gonna make it as annoying as possible, like like we're on stage. But Patrick was the overall, the only person that was close to Patrick out of every role in the entire trials was fucking Udaton. Udaton is the only guy who kept up with him in trials. And like I'm telling you, Patrick Watson dropped 30 almost every game. Udaton dropped 30 almost every game. They were both playing duelist. So basically, what happened was like, bro. We need Patrick Watson because this kid is so young and so raw. He'd been playing the game for like six months, bro. He's only played the game for like a year. He's only been playing competitive like in a team for like six months. I was like, look, get this kid on my team, and I swear to God, he's going to be one of the best duelists. Uh, Udaton, basically, like, he just he earned himself on the roster. He played so well that I was like, yo, let's just get him on the team, and we'll figure something out. <laughs> Leaf. Leaf, Meteor, and Tex. That's basically what I told him when I picked him up for this role. I was like, look, man, I want you to just be Meteor, Tex, Leaf. Like, pick up a Sentinel, frag out for us. Uh, we have VOD review, so this is how our day goes. We start out our day, me and the IGL and the assistant coach hop on, we'll make strats for the day, make different things, whether it's be pistol, whether it's talking about adjustments we want to make to the maps, whether it be, you know, making an execute, whatever the case may be. Um, us three will work on it for the first hour, from 1pm until 2pm. From 2pm to 3pm, the team gets on. The team gets on, we'll go do server work, we'll talk about the things we made, talk about the things we did, we'll have some dry runs, make sure we have everything down. From 3 till... 7 p.m. So from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. We scrim. Four scrims in a row. Um, back to back to back. No breaks. And then we'll have a 30 minute break for lunch. And then we come back from lunch and we do a VOD review. Usually the VOD review just scales depending on how many mistakes we made for that day. The VOD review could be 10 minutes. The VOD review could be an hour and 10 minutes. Um, it just depends on how many mistakes we made that for that day. Um, and so like I will while we're scrimming, I'm, I'm not only coaching the players you know, actively. Let's say, like, hey, don't make the mistake. Watch out for this. Like, 
telling them nice. certain things to like work on or certain things that I disagree with in that moment that are a little bit small or a little bit like less team oriented and more personal coaching. Um, and then when we go back and watch the VOD, I'll have notes that I've taken throughout the scrim that is like, you know, we messed up this here, we messed up that here, you know, scaling or trading or whatever, whatever it is. Um, and I'll make a, a note of it, and then at the end of the end of the scrims, Elevated will also give me his notes, and then we will go through those notes together as a team and watch the VOD back, and I'll skip to whatever round it is, and we'll have a discussion or you know whatever the case may be. How many of these can EG actually beat? Ooh, that is a very good fucking question, because I'll give you the honest answer. I honestly feel like we could probably beat all of them, but this one. I feel like we could beat all of these teams right if we played them right now. I don't know about later on in the season. Just based off, based off a. I know Lev ain't even practicing yet, right? Lev's not even practicing yet, so I think we could beat them. Um, so hopefully that's not too big of a crazy statement. I feel like we could beat these teams, and obviously could is a big difference than hey. will. Right now, talk about right now, right this second. I'm telling you, I don't think you understand like how how we've been playing. I don't think it's guaranteed anything. I don't think we are going to beat them. I'm not saying those things. I'm saying it is possible. There's a world where we win both pistols and win this match. <laughs> Guys, we're not playing any NA teams unless we get the champions. Oh, this is just shit talk. Don't worry That's about awesome. it. If we get the champions, then I'll have an ego about beating these teams. But right now, we have <laughs> zero chance of playing any of these guys. Unless we make it to Masters, which is a good chance as well. So we are going to have, on the days for sure... A, I'm going to do this in general. So what I like to do as a coach... Um, usually about once a week, sometimes more. I haven't done it yet because we've oh. just been so much stuff we've had to update on. Oh. But what I will do is we'll call this match day, where we replicate matches, where I don't speak I... outside of timeouts. Um, okay. You know, we, we call real timeout like it's, a, like it's a real match. We only got a minute. That's the only time I speak. The players handle the rest. See, and this is why I love GE, man. This is why I love Rushi. You guys, seriously, Rushi, GE are, are an amazing organ. And I've, they've done everything I've asked of them so far, and they've helped me in every single way as far as really anything but especially when it comes to the team bro like anything i've asked for it's like yes no questions what you need what you need what you need i told them i need some in-ears for the players yep we got you let's, let's order the in-ears right now i told them i need these lights for this thing they're like all right no problem we'll get the lights done like these guys have been absolutely amazing as an org so make sure you guys show some love to, to ge as a whole too and i know you guys already do but they're actually a great org and great people and i'm really happy being here like genuinely this is probably the happiest i could be at, at any team i don't think there's anything else that GE could do to make this better. That's just now when GE was not entrenched, it's always ensured the best of players. They use the boot camp Singapore G. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So like that's what I love. Okay, this is what I love about G as a whole is like they are me. They are me. They are me. They love esports. They love video games the way I love esports, the way I love video games. And they just have a lot of money to put towards it, which is their own hard work, right? They've worked their ass off to get to this point. I'm sure it was not an easy road this entire time. Time slows down when it can get no worse I can feel it running out on me I don't want these to be my last words All forgotten cause that's all that